going on? Call it Spellman, thank you too. Um, wow, y'all got me smoking the L and all that. Yeah, that shit sucks, man. Nah, but uh, anyway, like I said, you know, yeah, I smoke, but, but uh, life is good. Uh, shit, what was I gonna fucking, what are you doing here? Oh, you came for a tattoo session, right? Boom, so you don't know exactly what you wanna get, but you wanna get a tattoo. Right. The first thing you should think about is somebody give me a lighter. Give me a lighter, please. But um, the first thing you want to think about is do you want it to have meaning? And then you say, okay, yeah, duh, I want it to have meaning. All right. So then you're like, what type of meaning do I want? Do I want to have a meaning for my mom, my dad, my kids, my life? Do I want to send the world a message? Do I want it to be a, a hidden message? Like, you know, you have to figure that out first. Now, when you think about something like that, then you think, um, most people get something for their mom the first time around. Come on, man. What's my lighter, man? Oh, thank you. Um, but like I was saying, most people that come to me, they get uh, first time tattoo guys. They usually tend to get their mom's name. They get it on their forearm here. And um, it's a great experience most of the time coming to Inkyu too. But um, your first tattoo, you should try to make it A size that is doable. Please hold on for one second. That's my wife. It's her birthday today. She's such a great woman. She's out getting distilled water for me because, you know, that's what we got to use with the green soap. So if you go into a tattoo shop, or go to get a tattoo, let's say. You should look for some key factors and what the tattoo artist should be using. Number one thing is green soap. That is a must. Um, you wanna look for alcohol, obviously. You wanna look for clean razors. You wanna look for unopened needles. You wanna look for clean ink caps, clean countertops. You wanna look for, uh, you know, you wanna look for like fingerprint ink marks on the tattoo gun. You wanna look in the nozzle, maybe if they're using a tattoo pen. You wanna try to get a glimpse into the to the nozzle of the tattoo pen. You, if you see any dirt or like ink spots in there, you might wanna stop them and be like, hey, I don't think that gun is kinda clean, you know? You wanna look for, um, uh, you wanna look for the basics, you know? If, if it's your first time going to get a tattoo, I don't suggest you go by yourself. I suggest you go with someone that has already been through that process so that you know, like, you feel a little secure. You know what I mean? You feel like, all right, this person's got a tattoo. You don't necessarily have to go to the same shop or the same person as them, but they've been through that experience, you know? Because sometimes I have people that come here and they don't eat. And I ask them usually, did you eat within the last four hours? And they'll, yeah, I ate. Or let's just get through this process real fast, right? <laughs> I love this, right? So they come in and they dead lie to me or they didn't eat anything suffice enough. And I offer them something to eat. Listen, you should sit and eat and get some nourishment, a vitamin water, something, a smoothie, something in your system before you get a tattoo because it's like a medical procedure, you, you understand? And when you go through that, you need some type of nourishment to 
to keep you going. I've had people pass out. I've had people pop up off the, the tattoo bed, thinking they're all good, and I'm telling them, hey, take, the, take it easy. Don't just hop up. You got this nice big piece on your thigh. And the girl gets up, and then, then she just like, and I got to catch her, you know? And then, I don't know, this, you see how skinny I am. You know, some, some people are bigger than me, and I've got to physically help them in a system. And, you know, throughout the years of experience, I've realized exactly what to do to prevent you from passing out and to actually keep you and revive you from that watery mouth feeling like you're about to throw up, you get nauseous, and, and, and you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... I'll give you the tip. This is the tip, okay? When it's good to be honest with your tattoo artist, if you do start feeling those symptoms that I previous said, it's 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 really good to be honest with the person that's tattooing you because that person may or may not be educated, and and if you let them know you're going through this, at least they'll give you the time to do what I'm about to tell you what to do, <laughs> okay? So what you want to do is go get cold water. Paper towel, obviously those are two things the tattoo artist should have. Cold water and a paper towel. You want to take about two or three paper towels. You want to fold them up into like a, a wristband type of whip. And then you want to pour the cold water on top, of the, on top of the paper towel and just put it on the back of your neck in this area right here. You close it tight, you sit back, you put your head up a little bit like this and you close your eyes and you just breathe in. And you try to feel those that that cold water drip going down your back. You know what I mean? You want to feel that coldness run on your body. It will help wake up all of your nerves. It will help the the that that phlegmy throat swelling. Like I want to throw my intestines up, feeling out, and and you won't feel weak. Just stop sweating, and you know there you go. Your tip. Um, you know, for the people who have sweaty palms, there's really nothing I can do about that. I, 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 I don't know. I very rarely get people that have sweaty palms. So, when I do, they're cold and sweaty. It's like, it's like, you have a heartbeat. Um, yeah, shout out to my alien.